Last time we met the New York Knicks, it was Christmas Day, so it's been a bit since we've seen them. The Bucks win the opening tip-off, which means Sargento donates $500 to Milwaukee's Habitat for Humanity, thanks to Sargento tip-off for home's program. Sargento is the official cheese of the Milwaukee Bucks. Off the miss, a second chance opportunity. Damian Lillard hits his first one. Taylor Brunson has been fantastic in the four games in this series against the Bucs, and that's what he'll do to you. DiVincenzo alertly tips it back out to Anna Novi, who challenges for Lopez. The tip is good, and the Knicks on top. And he's also good. He'll play up to the level of the screen also. He'll mix it up, but right now he's dropping deep and helping out on Giannis. Giannis count the bucket. He's got a free throw coming, fired up about it. Oh, man. There's no, no, no two ways about it. I don't know how I feel about some of the national narrative, though. They jump yeah. when the Bucks are floundering, it feels like. DiVincenzo, but mostly in the last eight games or something, he's been on fire. That was an 11-point, three-point game at 40 points. Dane leans in. He's got an and one coming. Goes to the basket strong. Forte's defense played at West Virginia. Pat Connaughton with the defensive assignment on Brunson that time. Here comes Chris Middleton on the push. Lays it up for Giannis, who lays it down for another two. It's been a crucible of, of tumult. It's the coaching change and everything else, the injuries and everything else has happened. It's been a long season. Brunson now has a quick nine points, just like that. In this league, everybody's facing some type of adversity. The key is who can handle it and still produce at a high level despite it. And Brunson finding the adversity on that possession and gets another and one chance. Well, and, and I am until someone talks trash to me, then I gotta fall apart. But... <laughs> you do not. <laughs> Lopez slam dunk. Third opportunity on this possession here for the Knicks. And Brunson way too easy. Brunson again inside the lane. He has been red hot here in the first quarter. Josh Hart too strong. Jay Crowder in the game. Here comes Giannis sprinting through and galloping in for two. Yeah, great job, Giannis. Just, just sprinting. The tip not there. Here comes Giannis once again. Fast break points. Looks it off to Bobby. Push shot. Beats the buzzer. And the one thing you could do to help help with that in terms of that joy that passion i mean keep playing fast nice knockdown jumpers to be honest knock down mid-range jumpers well against milwaukee three games when he played with the pistons this year he's averaging about 19 points per game so a, a couple of guys who like to play against the bucks he's a bucket getter oh yeah Giannis, pretty finger roll finish for another and one 51 52 percent the last three years it's like the 85th percentile so that's a shot that he can knock down that short mid-ranger, that little floater. Giannis in and around, triple, and he finds his way to the rack. He's got 14 here tonight. And the more aggressive he gets, demanding the basketball. And he's got the size advantage considerably move. against McBride. Drops it off to Bobby in the dunker. Set him up for the spin move. You can see that coming. He's got the variety of different uh, skate moves, the swim moves. Yeah, between him and Mitchell, Robinson, it's a tough opponent Giannis with another and one he's got about three of those here in the first half not to avoid this switch if possible but good good job by, by Giannis with the late double get the ball out of Brunson's hands Di Vincenzo lays it up with his right hand again Hartenstein producing second chance points for the Knicks that is a problem tonight just continued perpetual. Orlando sits number three in the Eastern Conference, and OKC fight for that number one spot. Brunson gets another bucket. What a first half he has, 23 now. It's not the guy you want to see in the restricted area. Giannis working it out to Brooke. Up fake, he'll take it in. Push shot is good. And Brooke Lopez, defense to offense highlight. AJ penetrating, spins. It's the shot clock buzzer. So the Knicks start out on the first possession of the second half here on offense. A handoff to DiVincenzo. He's got a couple three-pointers in the first half, but finds Hartenstein for the bucket. Who's going to take up the, the Middleton slack? Chris has had 20-plus points the last few games he's been out here, so he's going to be missed. 
And an OP, so the Knicks open up two for two. If you're just Quickly and, and probe and try and get the best shot they can early in the shot. And the Bucks looking to get organized. Let's see. They're going to count the bucket, it looks like, here for Jalen Brunson. Well, you know the Heat always gets stronger as, as the year goes on, and the Sixers with that beat back, certainly stronger. DiVincenzo just beats the buzzer from the corner. He's deadly from the corners. And Brunson coming across the screen and drills the three-pointer with a kiss to the crowd. Giannis loses it, DiVincenzo takes it away, and on the move, here comes Josh Hart over to Hartenstein, who's having a big third quarter, and you knew that timeout for Doc Rivers was coming. This is here tonight, it's a great initiative. The idea stemmed from Utah assistant coach Scott Morrison, he and his wife have a four-year-old son, Max, who is diagnosed with autism in 2022. Out of the timeout, Giannis for two. They go right the Greek freak's way. More talented forward defenders defending him. I thought you put all that defensive focus and attention on this guy. Oh, Brunson just keeps going and going. Another 30. About the Bucks to come away with it. He leaves it short. Giannis with the offensive rebound. He's looking for the putback. He gets the putback. Cuts it to one. Timeout, New York Knicks. Bounce pass across the court to Josh Hart. Just his second field goal made here tonight. Now it's Giannis against Brunson, and Brunson wants to take him off the bounce. Speaking of bounces, he got one there. Wow, just able to get just a, a shoulder by Giannis on that penetration. And then, then, then uh, elongated the scoop. Bobby okay. once again drills the three-pointer. Bobby Portis. It's all Knicks here on this final possession here in the third quarter. Brunson crossover. Dave floats it in. He's got 37 points tonight. And outscored by 12 since Chris Middleton has left this game in a game where we thought the tip in by Giannis there, but we thought it would be an opportunity for the big three to play an entire game together again. AJ Green goes down, and McBride will try to take advantage. Floats it up and over the outstretched arms of Giannis. Had your struggles knocking down in fourth quarter for the last few games. Bogdanovich for three and another. I don't know. Those percentages were pretty. But I know what you're saying, though. Instead of two for 13, you go five for 13. It's mental fatigue, physical fatigue. Okay. Portis, we need one of those. Well, until now, to your point earlier. Here comes Giannis. This crowd trying to will a little bit of a comeback here for the box tonight. Bobby Portis, does he have another one in him? He does! Big Bobby Buckets are coming! Brooke passes up the three, but passes right into some traffic. And the Knicks have it. Bogdanovich finishes it off. After about 37% in the first half, and they're making shots like that. Bucks got to make quick work here on this possession. Brook Lopez, an important three-pointer falls. DiVincenzo pulls for three. Just beats the shot clock. Boy, that one hurts. Brunson off the mark. And the ball finds Ananobi's hands, who kicks it out. DiVincenzo is killing his former team with back-to-back -back threes. Coming into tonight, Cleveland had dropped the game last night. And Brunson once again with that leaner. <laughs> I don't care who it is, Lisa, at this point. <laughs> you just need a win. That win won't come tonight. Four straight losses now for the Bucs.